Jackson Dart the perfect fit in Lane Kiffin's offense. There's a lot of excitement surrounding Dart in general. And now that he joins Lane Kiffin at Ole Miss, I think a lot of people are excited about the potential, the explosive potential about what that could mean for the Rebels and for Dart. This is a guy who came out of Utah to USC and there was a lot of excitement around his arrival. And then USC obviously went through what they went through. Dart transfers lands at Ole Miss and there's a lot of people who think that he's going to be very exciting with Lane Kiffin. So we're going to see what he is really good at some things. Maybe he needs to improve upon and what impact does Lane Kiffin have on Dart and his future. If you're new to this channel, I'm your host, Joe Broback. We do all sorts of college football content on this channel. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment on what you want to see. A lot of times I take into consideration the comments that I see of what you're looking for. This is all over college football. So make sure you let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know your comments, your opinions. Let's start a discussion as well. But for those who are new, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that content. Let's dive into Jackson Dart, Lane Kiffin, and Ole Miss Rebels. You're going to see similarities between Jackson Dart and Matt Corral, and it's going to easy, be easy to see why when he joins Ole Miss. But you're going to see the arm talent of Jack Star come through, and that's something that Lane Kiffin is going to try and develop even more. On this play, we get to see the peak of Jackson Dart, if you will. We're getting two go routes here, a seam route, and then I go essentially a nice route that turn. It's it looks like it's going to be a, maybe an outbreaking route, but it turns out to be another seam, and it's it's something that you see the maturity of Jackson Dart as a passer because he's reading what these two defenders are doing. This guy's man up here, man up here. He's not looking down here. He knows that if this guy brings his man out of the play because he's in man coverage, meaning he's not peeking behind him, he knows that he could throw this seam over the middle. And given that there's not really much room to hit this guy right here, he is looking for this outside receiver. So what he's going to do is he's going to wait. Now it's a great route by Drake London because you're going to get him. He makes it look like he's going out and the defensive back bites even just a little bit, which allows London to break inside. That creates a natural opening. Dart throws an absolute dart, no pun intended, and London just snatches it. So you see the talent. You see why Ole Miss wanted him. You see why he was so highly coveted when he came to USC. And it's, it throws like this. Now, these are, like I said, some of the better throws that you will see from Jackson Dart because he sees the opening, he knows who he has to hit, and Drake London makes a play. But it's something that Ole Miss fans should be excited for because you're going to get talented players uh, catching the ball for Dart, and you're going to see throws like this that will be in Kiffin's system. We saw the development of Matt Corral, and we'll probably see the same thing from a guy like Jackson Dart too. Now, we'll give Dart a pass for being a freshman because there's still time where he can develop his arm and create more arm strength. But sometimes it was kind of concerning, concerning some of the throws that he wasn't able to make. Some of these longer throws, outbreaking routes, that kind of stuff just fell short of receivers or fell at their feet. There's also times where he takes unnecessary shots over the middle and just doesn't have the zip behind his throws to make plays. and, and that turns into sometimes it was an interception. Other times it was just really dangerous incompletions. So that's one thing that I think Lane Kiven will have to help him with is to be able to add arm strength and add velocity to his throws because some of these longer throws he's going to have to make in Kiffin's system. And that's going to be something that might be a concern for a little while. But if he's able to address that, then Ole Miss is going to be in another dangerous offense. They're going to be a very lethal offense to try and stop. If you watch the Washington State game, then you watch the Jackson Dart show. And this is the really one of the games that you really got excited about Dart and his abilities. Now, it also helps when Washington State decides to put a linebacker on the slot receiver. I'm not sure what that's all about. I assume they thought that the safety would be helping out, but this is kind of a weird play, but it's also smart on Jackson's art to be able to take advantage of that because 
this safety and this linebacker have the slot bracketed. Now, Dart could still technically take a shot at this because he knows he has all of this field with this defensive back covering Drake London. He knows he has a ton of field to work with. But what makes it even easier is that this DB currently is yelling to this safety that there's another vertical route coming. Now, it ends up being a long hitch, but for whatever reason, even though as DB saw Jackson Dart throwing, he knows where he's throwing the ball, and it's not to the outside route, but the DB just, the safety just bails all of a sudden, which makes it even easier because you have, like I said, you have a linebacker who cannot run with a slot receiver, and you have that mismatch on top of a safety bailing and not helping out over the top. That is just as easy as it gets when you're throwing deep. Uh, the one thing that you will say with this is that you could make an argument that this ball as you see is thrown he should have been ending up here throws it a little bit to the left so that's one i guess if you want to be technical about it throw it a little bit over the top more because this i mean this linebacker does make up a little bit of ground it's still a mismatch but and it's really there i don't think there was any chance that he was going to get it but it's just something and when you're moving to the sec versus the pac 12 it's going to be a little bit different you're going to have to be able to make those technical changes if you want to be successful and uh, on a more consistent basis but this is just a mismatch Dart, dart sees it like i said he knows that he has the win on the outside and gary bryant does the rest really nice throw by him ability to look to see what he has he knows he has a mismatch and just pitch and catch from there and again it's, uh, sometimes you're just gonna have to pick on defenses that just create issues for themselves and, and sometimes that defenses are going to do things that don't make any sense but you can't apologize for that you have to exploit those mistakes we're going to see this again against washington state for whatever reason they have two safeties outside of the hashes they are leaving all of this room and once again we have a linebacker matched up with a slot receiver this time being drake london why they're doing that i have no idea because they're also they're playing zone it looks like a too high zone to me they're they're basically wasting two guys covering a tight end and no offense to, to any tight ends from usc but they didn't really do a ton last year if you're going to double someone, if you're going to put a safety on somebody, Drake London's probably at the top of the list. So I'm not sure what they're doing here because, like I said, we're getting a vertical route that this corner could have just carried. You could have moved this safety in to take away more of the middle of the field. But this guy is staying on the outside. This DB, this safety is playing the tight end, so he's not a factor. And again, Dart understands a lot and he understands when he has a linebacker and he can see his nameplate facing him he knows that drake london who is one of the best 50 50 ball catchers in the entire country maybe the best one we've seen in quite some time you're just gonna throw this ball up and you're gonna we'll go to the end zone view here because it gives you kind of a better look but when you have this look because again no offense to tight ends for USC, but I'm not wasting two players on him. If anything, just tell this corner, your man. I mean, teams do this all the time. Send this safety over more towards the middle of the field. Just play man coverage here and play zone over there. That's just fine. But you're instead asking a linebacker to cover Drake London, and he's not looking at the ball. He's running with Drake London, but he's not looking at the ball. And Dart sees that and understands that, hey, I can take a shot here because when he throws this ball, nobody is helping this guy out. He is still looking at Drake London. He is running. His hips are square to the back of the end zone. Drake London just needs to slow down just a little bit. It's really a, a, the biggest mismatch on the field that you saw probably all game. And Jackson Dart exploited it. So, again, Sometimes you don't need to make a crazy throw. You just need to make the right throw. And in this case, this is the right throw. DB is not looking, or in this case, the linebacker is not looking, and you give your best receiver a chance to catch the football. So it's just sometimes it's just easy pitch and catch. And Jackson Dart is capable of making these kinds of throws on a regular basis. 
almost should be excited about Jackson Dart. There's a lot to like about his game, and I think that he's still very raw as a quarterback, and there's a lot of time for him to develop into a more well-rounded passer. He also brings a running option that we didn't talk about today, but he is a good runner. I think that, again, the, the similarities between him and Matt Corral are there. I wouldn't say that they're similar players, but there are similarities in their games. And I think that when you look at what Matt Corral was before Lane Kiffin came to campus, I think that Jackson Dart has the potential to take the step that Matt Corral did as well. You see, uh, you know, they're both good athletes where they can run, and they're also good passers where they can make deep passes. There's obviously some things that Dart has to work on, but there's also a lot to like about his game. And we see that in these plays. We see that in these breakdowns. And we see that Ole Miss is getting a good quarterback. Now, he still obviously has to win the job against Luke Altmeyer, but Jackson Dart is very exciting. It's easy to see why Lane Kiffin wanted to get him. It's easy to see why Ole Miss fans are excited that he's coming to campus. I think he's going to continue that excitement with his play in the fall. And it's going to be, maybe not, Ole Miss might need a little bit of time to get back to where they were last year, but. I think the combination of Lane Kiffin and Jackson Dart is one that's going to be very exciting to watch for the next couple of years.